name front, on my neck? On the front of my, yeah. On the, the front name of, over here, on the front of my husband's husband name over here. There's my no way to tell. shit is all tattered up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you over here. Yo, come on in, baby. They talking about tats and everything. Go, yeah. you know, tattoos, baby. I think I want me one for my birthday. Y'all, come on in. Y'all know what time it is. It's Sip Sage and Matt. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to say. I'm going to tattoo my cat. I'm going to tattoo my dick, okay? So no, just don't say that word. Say the other word. Sip, sage, and manifest with yeah, diamond stone. Y'all come on in, my kings and queens, my royal angels, my beautiful butterflies. Y'all come on in here. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, you saying it anyway. I'm going to put you out the door. She's on Facebook. How y'all doing? Y'all come on up in here. Today has truly been amazing. Y'all come on in, hit that like button and that share button. Y'all let me see them, them hearts and them, them smiles and thumbs up going up the side. Y'all know how I like to see my stream. I'm here with Auntie. We had an amazing day today. I am getting ready to start a whole new journey. This birthday for me is going to be life changing. Hey, Miss J, I see you up in here, beautiful. Come on, yes. That's a turn off. No, that's her home. It really? Yeah. They showing all their business to the world? I uh 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 uh. uh, -uh. But yes. Period. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see the stars going. Up. I mean, the, 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 the. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Where, where my stream at? Y'all know how to make me feel happy. Come on, y'all. Where's Ed? Where's Ed? Yes, indeed. Auntie looking like a superstar. Looking all beautiful uh, over there. Uh, y'all come on in so I can tell y'all how amazing of a time we had today. So oh, I am and so at peace, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. We had um, uh, meditation and Tai Chi. What it was called, Auntie? Tai Chi? Tai Chi, Auntie? It's, it's Ki Jong. It's Q-I. That's the energy. And John, G O N. -G. Meaning, meaning, Cultivate. uh, c cultivation. Okay, look. Yes, I, and I it's uh the energy. So that's what we had it's today. Like tai Chi. It's like Tai Chi, but it was Ki Jong. And, 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 and in meditation, y'all, it was so amazing today. Hey, Heather, how you doing? They say, hey, auntie. They say, hey, auntie. Hey. It, it it was awesome today, y'all. Oh, when I tell y'all, I feel so amazing. I feel so good. So I wanted to try something different today. So that's what I did. Because I'm embarking on a new, 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 new me, a new journey, everything. I'm going to be 52 years old, y'all. And I want to be better than I was last year, and I want to be better than I was the year before. Like, I really do. And and I'm making those steps with that. And, hey, Heather, how you doing? When I walked out of there, y'all, it felt like a whole thousand pound weight had been lifted off of me. And y'all, guess what? On my way from taking care of some business, y'all know, hey, Michelle, I've been thinking about my baby. And I just really like being in my feelings a little bit because I miss my son so much. Why? I looked up. And there was a um a car in front of me with a tag said it had my son name on it. Y'all, I tell y'all, angels exist. He was like, it's okay, mama. I'm right here. I am right here. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like and that share button for me, please. It's all about, you know, um. It probably would have went there. I probably would have. But you called me. Did it go straight to voicemail? The first time. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's talking about. But yes, y'all. So you know what me and Auntie was talking about. It is. It is very amazing. So y'all know it's the countdown. Let the countdown begin. I got 16 more days before my birthday. After 12, gonna be 15 more. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready. So y'all, I gotta go to Birmingham because I gotta. I'm in a. Um, thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Queen. Tonight, on Wednesdays, is meditation. Say hello, Auntie. Turn around and say hello. She pretty today. Look at her. She up there with her man. Why you got to look like that, Auntie? Why you, who, who you call my man? Greg or, I mean, Henry. They know Henry, your man. They know Greg is not your man. They already know that. Ain't that right, y'all? She scared of me to treat me like Chucky. Like Chucky. 
Yes, it's November 18th. My birthday is November 18th. Mm -hmm. It's November 18th. Yes, yeah, so um, me and my auntie, we was talking about um something today. And we was talking about energy and certain things that you have to be really, really careful of in in this season and in, in purity in your life. And, um, you know, we this is one of the things we always talk about. That the enemy can't come in unless you allow him in. You, you have to, to you have to invite him in. When you invite people in your house and you know already that they they're negative people, you can't even get mad at the Satan in them because you invited them in. You already know what kind of individual they are. So when you invite them in and they they make your whole house chaotic, you can't get mad at nobody but yourself or invite them in because you already knew this. You already know this. A snake is a snake before it bite, and a lion don't have to tell you that he's dangerous. He roars. That should tell you something. Mm. Period. That way, that part, and definitely in that order. Thank you, and so you know we was talking about that, and we was just talking about um how certain people's um personalities are some people character are i do not like we say uh uh uh, uh what it is auntie the leopard won't change his spots a zebra this, this, won't this change i want to say a, Shana, what was wrong with it earlier greg she said and a monkey just won't change his stripes <laughs> I said, David, ain't no monkey got no motherfucking strike. Hey, David, how you doing? Hey, Dawn. But it's the truth, you know, that's even with, you know. Because certain... but that's who they are, and you can't get mad at a person for being who they are. That's who the fuck they are. You had no business lighting them in and letting them in and fucking with your fine shui. Your flow. You, but, but check this out. Also, you did I, that. Also, they could be a very good looking people. Yeah, we know that they can be very good looking people. They can be uh, was fine. very much so. And they can be, you can think they can be I'm meek and mild. Good. But once they get in, we got kids. and see, that's how they're going to come because they got to catch, what you said, Auntie, they got to catch you off guard. Because right. if you're okay, prepared yeah, for gonna, them. Yeah, because they, they they're not going to give you time enough to pre prepare for they them. They're they going to catch you off guard. And Satan. I notice a lot of people look look at him like he's this ugly individual with this pitchfork and this red outfit. But Satan is actually gorgeous. I married him twice. <laughs> we got kids. But uh, if Satan was ugly, you would never let him in. So he's got to come beautiful. And Satan is not no damn fool. He know what spirit to bring with him because he know what spirit your body is vulnerable to. He like. He's going to bring you whatever you like until he know he's in the door. <laughs> and then... It's all over. It's all over. Once you let that man in, that thing, it don't necessarily have to be a man. It could definitely be a woman. Yeah. Oh, all yeah. kinds of things. And you know you have to be really careful about that. You know, especially in like when you see, it takes time to learn people and to see who they really are. Don't just jump to the conclusion and assume, oh, this is a wonderful person. When you haven't really taken the time out to know them, sometimes it takes months. Sometimes it takes years to truly get to know a person. And even then, you still really don't know that person. You know, a lot of times, and I, like I tell y'all this, I said, stop giving, stop giving people titles and, and awards and credits that they have not earned. Stop giving it to them. Because a lot of times that's what we do. You know, instead of taking the time out to see what it is that you need to see, um, experience the things that you need to experience so you'll know what to do and what not to do. You know, and I and I have been learning that. My daddy used to say, them the them the dearness people stay away. Okay? So you don't want to be tricked and bamboozled. And a lot of times when you're your most vulnerable, that's when the enemy can come in and the enemy can trick you because you don't see it coming because your mind is somewhere else and you're not focused like you need your to body, be. Your body, just like, uh, he's not going to come to me the same way he would you because what your body is vulnerable to, mine ain't. Right. You know, uh, and he ain't no damn fool. He's not dumb. He actually been observing you while you out there clowning somewhere. So he know your uh, your likes and your dislikes. So he gonna come knocking at your door with that big smile and that Rolex oh, and man. those diamonds. And then when he get in, it's all over because you finna pay for that Rolex and diamonds. Wait, wait, what did that man say tonight? He said something about when you find peace 
It was something that was so powerful. What did he what say? Were you talking about when he was talking about the darkness? No, when he said something about peace. When you find peace, that's when you... Something he said, but it was so powerful what he said. And I was like, whoa, yeah, you are so right. You know. I, I know one, one thing he was he was trying to show us where if it was not for darkness, we wouldn't know nothing about the light. We always trying to get to the light. But if it wasn't yeah, for the, the darkness, yang yang. you wouldn't know it. Like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me I got to do the Wizard of Oz, okay? And then I'm going to leave it alone. If anybody's seen the Wizard of Oz, you've seen little Dorothy, she run around there, the little ugly woman in the neighborhood messing with her dog, and a tornado coming, which is a bad thing, a tornado coming. So it swoops her up. She lands somewhere on this bad woman who was messing with these little people, so she killed them, which was a good thing. Perception is everything. And then she gets out of the house, and she's in this big, beautiful... If anybody's seen the, mu uh, the, uh, the movie, the movie doesn't come in color until she gets in the land of Oz. So she see all these big, beautiful colors that she's never seen before. The streets was paved in gold. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. But none of it would have happened if it hadn't have been for that storm. That mm, we said mm. was bad. Come on, Auntie. That was deep right place. there. Come on, Auntie. Okay. And I'm what she learned, like everything is a lesson. What she learned is that everything that she ever wanted, she already had. Mm -hmm. She walking around on these gold streets talking about she trying, we're off to see the wizard so she can get the fuck home. <laughs> and all the time, all she had to do was manifest it. I wants to go home. And there she was. She woke up and everybody that she seen in Oz was actual people that she already knew in Kansas. So whatever you want is already there. All you got to do is bring it out. Mm. And stop hanging with people that's going to try to keep it in. Mm. A lot of times it's because of jealousy. I'm not going to let her succeed. Not him. I'm sitting over here wearing Kmart shoes. You got to be careful of your surroundings because just because somebody's smiling in your face don't mean that your friends and the, and the, 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 the I'm going to say this and then leave it alone. <laughs> the best thing about, the, the, the most important thing about betrayal that you need to know, betrayal never, I mean never, comes from an enemy. An enemy can't betray you. Only the people you love and trust can betray you. So watch the people that you love and you trust because they're the only ones that can betray you. An enemy you're going to stay away from. We can, we can talk about my boy Takeoff, how he was just minding his business and he in the wrong place in the wrong time. And, and he stand up and catch a bullet. You know, so... Um, so a lot of us saying, you know, why would these, these rich, these rich brothers, we ain't calling niggas, we call them kingers. And you know, if you want to gamble, you play dice at home, play in your mansion. You know, you know, because because you you hang around other spirits that are not that are jealous of you, mm -hmm. all this type of stuff. And so uh, you think yeah, they rooting you on because you yeah. you done succeeded and all the time they yeah, hate they, your ass. Yeah, and they want to be you and all this type of stuff. But anyway, you just. Stand up and walking through the bullet. I mean, it's so it's really that hurtful for someone that was such a kind spirit that is just gone, you know, unnecessarily. And it comes from being in those type of environments. They love you, Auntie. You know? Auntie's true people. And that's my my two cents on it because I'm still feel I don't even know the brother, but I feel his spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and you get the message too. Yeah, but I feel like a, you know, just because they chilling, oh my boy done made it. They made it. He oh, that's done what made we it. Talking about. Yeah. And and then they, well, he we, he gonna be over here at the dice game tonight, and he he all boosted up, but you could tell he didn't even want to be there. Well, he yeah. yeah, he yeah. hears some noise go off, so he stand up and he he catch a bullet from both sides. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're right, Greg. If you want to have a gambling party, have it at home. And then limit the people that you invite to it. That's right. Yeah. Be 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 careful of the spirits that you entertain. Yeah. The spirits will come to you in 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 a in a in a in a form, like, 
that uh, an accepting form. Yeah, because they don't come unwelcome. They're not going to, because they can't come unwelcome. Yeah. And there are all types of different spirits. You got the takeover spirit. You got the control spirit. Mm -hmm. You got the manipulating spirit. You got a conniving spirit. You got some scheming spirits. You got backstabbing spirits. You got some jealousy spirits. And you, you got, you got the, all those spirits boost your ego up. And your ego is easing it, it, God yeah, out. And it, it, it'll take over and ease God out. That's why a lot of people ain't here today because of their ego. Yeah. Say it one more Hold up. Say it one more time so they can hear you. A lot of people ain't here today because of their ego. And that's easing God out. Mm -hmm. That's what I call it. Ego easing God out. That's like Kanye said. I got a big ego. Hey, we got mm -hmm. song. We got mm -hmm. song called. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. and, and that's why he got all that hot mess because he want to talk, talk about stuff that um, against powerful people. Sometimes Y'all keep them thumbs up and them hearts and stuff going up for me. Y'all keep it going. Keep it going. Let's Somebody run it up that way, please. Don't say Some nothing. conversations don't need... And, and also, like dude said about um, but so many rappers dying and all this, because of the ego with social media. You know, everybody wants to be... Uh, get likes. Get, get, get views. Uh, and another thing they were saying, like, you know, and, and people don't understand this yeah, either. Yeah. Why would you all... And you, you, we so quick to take our cameras out. See, that's that. That I'll tell you where our spirits have gone. See, how our spirits are. Dying, to you feel me? Somebody's dying. losing their their life is leaving. Where's the respect? Yeah, to put them where is the media. integrity in it all? There is none. And Satan you, that goes on that spirit. Satan gave us these phones. Hold up, hold up, Satan to... gave us these cameras. Right. Satan did you? The social so, media. You, yeah, you so <laughs> defocused. You so that's that's the same woman that just no 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 don't do shit. That was Skanch called me and didn't say I said hello. And the bitch didn't say hello back. So it's my turn not to say hello. Greg, don't fuck with my phone. Don't get, so stop no, I don't, no, I don't want you motherfucker to start around. I want that bitch to know I'm sitting right here. Uh uh, Greg, Greg. That's my phone. Let that motherfucker ring. Now I'm teaching her a lesson. I did, didn't you hear that other phone ring? I, I answered the phone, it was her. And the bitch wouldn't say hello. So now I got to be petty too. <laughs> well, Auntie, you it's told my me. goddamn turn. Well, Auntie, you told me not to be petty. Right. Okay, well, I, I, I'm just phone. teaching her a lesson. Right. If I say hello, goddamn it, you supposed to say hello back. That's the, that's the law. Listen, I love her. <laughs> that's the, it's that's the law. She might have been fucking hell. Well, she shouldn't have called. She should have sucked instead uh, of I did that with Z Lalo. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, watch your mouth. Is I, 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 I oh, can't, wait, we I on, can't. We, where we at? We on Facebook? We on Facebook. <laughs> well, I take that back, Facebook. <laughs> hey, my body, hey, baby. Hey, Deanna, how you doing, beautiful queen? Gorgeous, gorgeous. So yes, we have to be careful because those, those, those that Satan comes with all those different kind of those spirits are some serious, and you have to be careful of that because sometimes you might think people have it for your good, and, and the enemy will ease right on in, get up under you, eat at your table, and everything. All that. Be careful. Diamond. Look like you would scoot over, so I can sit the fuck down too. Oh, oh well. I didn't know, Auntie. I thought you wanted to sit on that. Hell no. Did I look comfortable? Well, they used to her doing that song. <laughs> you just the other stuff. You Greg, got you got a lot of nerve. Greg, you better be quiet because she might well, put you out. Over there with his you better speak that thing. Got I'm, one arm out I don't know. He wants to see his muscles. Little bunny they muscle. said, Alice, you better speak that thing. I'm learning tonight. <laughs> it's the truth, though. And you have to learn that. Because some people come around it and they not satisfied until they see the worst in you. They pull it out. They don't want the nice version of you. They don't want the peaceful version of you. Because they fear that the enemy don't like that. He feeds off of chaos and confusion and disorder. And then he's And discord. Right. And then he's okay. Well, what about people that, that say, uh, oh, Brad, you could do better. You know, you could be doing better. And all. Like they, like Depending they, on who it's coming you know, from. Like they're supposed to be a friend, right? But like they're rooting for you. But then when you start doing better than them. Then they, they don't really like that. They never wanted you to do better than right. them in the beginning. It becomes apparent then. 
But then that's when you need to know it so you can get them off around you so you can do better because they praying for your downfall anyway. They don't want to see you do better. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you flourish. They not speaking life into you. But they act like it though. It is. It's you said the key word. Key word. Act. Act. Right. See, I, act. I, have, I have people in my life like that right now. Well, you need to get them get people them out. out your life. Seeing like uh -uh. that you already know it, you inviting that spirit in. You let that spirit come you, in. They can't come in come unless in. you allow them. So mm -hmm. if you got people that's acting like that, you need to get those people on out your life. So you, in order Close to... Close down the uh, shop, Tyler Perry. We don't need no actors. None or oh, actresses. Your, your pieces, your pieces, your pieces, everything. Wait, 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 hold on, bro. I don't go that way, Dad, because I'm going to put him out because he, okay, he thought yeah. we didn't hear him. You kind of. Nah, nah, we know. Mm, don't go there. Disrespecting the page. I didn't say no person. No, we know that, but you, where you spin to go, you spin to go somewhere. You spin to go, you spin to go. Stay away from the devil. I know that's right. Okay. And We're steal have people. To kick Greg out in still, a still, still trying to take over. Still trying to manipulate. Still trying to come. Still trying to deceive. Still, still trying to disrupt. Still trying to cause confusion. And, and listen to the word you're using, even though it's a uh, um, still, still. And I ain't talking about S T I L L. I'm talking about S T E A L. Still, still, still. 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 Deal, they come deal. to steal everything. And right now, the assignment that you are on is very important to protect your peace. Because once you protect your peace, that's when you can really see your wealth and your prosperity. I think it was something along the lines. Because when you're at peace, you can, you, can, you can recognize everything that's around you. Which you is the purpose it. of tonight's class mm -hmm. was to put you at peace. With the Tai Chi. The Kong Cho. Yeah. I, I couldn't pronounce that word, mm -hmm. so I said Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. But you know, and, and and to put your mind at ease, because sometimes you all the way up here or all the way down there, and you want to be level. You want to be level. See, because Satan know your vulnerability. He you he know that. You know he know he know when she had. Let me let me bring her down a little bit. She he knows when you you're you're at your lowest point. So you want to be in control. You don't want Satan, or or the uh, I ain't gonna use the word Satan. That negative, negative people mm -hmm. uh, to know your vulnerability because they're gonna use it against you, depending on the person. This just shows that that type of uh, spirit right here. You know, in the political season we are, with elections coming up, the lady from uh, Arizona, she actually laughing about because they hate Pelosi about the man who hit her husband in the head, fractured his skull. Mm. And they laughing about that. They hit the damn husband in the head. One of the Trump people, one of the Trump followers. Mm. What he hit her for? What's she hitting for? She didn't hit him. Somebody came. They were looking for her, but she was still at work. And so they he, hit her. He, he wanted to come and break her kneecaps and all that type of stuff. Damn. So, so now he got Who we got running for office? <laughs> Damn. Hey, Candace. 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 And think we gonna be all right with it? What kind of people are we? The same, the same kind of people. The, the the same kind of people that when they see somebody actually life is 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 leaving that they take out their phones and record it. Them type of people with no kind of sympathy, no kind of empathy, mm. no kind of nothing. They want yeah, put it on social media media for views, for followers to monetize. You you you're you're you're, you're getting. You're gaining, you're gaining um, acknowledgement out for somebody else's pain. So it's safe to say that this device that's in your hand mm -hmm. is one of Satan's new tools. It is a tool. Yeah, it can be used for good though. But a lot of people use it for bad. But a lot of bad. people are using it. The negative people to get a hold to a phone is dangerous. Very. But it's selfish too. If you want Candace, to say hey, auntie. Hey, Candace Bandis. If you want to monetize somebody else's pain and trauma. But that's what they do every day, all day. And people don't understand that when they're doing all this other stuff, downgrading our sisters and brothers and bashing each other. And, and you, we really making little coins. They're capitalizing off of our pain. They're capitalizing off of our suffering. Yeah, this man got blood coming out of his head and they want to put that on the TV. 
I couldn't even when they were showing that video. I, 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 I couldn't I just, watch it. I, I just couldn't watch it. I, I didn't want to see it. But Y'all keep them I, thumbs I up and them hearts going up for me, please, please. Devils want all that attention. Yes, they do, Miss J. They want the attention. They not satisfied. If they feel like anybody, if anybody getting more attention than them, and it's in a good way, they got to they got to mess it up some kind of way. The, the devil want the, the 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 enemy. He wants all that attention. So he got to bring some kind of negativity to get a reaction out of you. I, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where you know what? If I didn't say something, I'm not going to keep repeating myself no more. I'm, I'm through with that. Because I love my peace. I ain't, I ain't had to do that. And I can't just ban this and laugh and I laugh. I ain't had to do that. And, it was, and I enjoyed not having to have my peace disrupted. And I love it. And I'm not, and I have to get, I got to pull myself all the way back because I'm at a point to where I got to stay focused. I got to stay on point. I'm yeah. still in a grieving stage, but I ain't weak by a long shot. Okay. You got your peacemakers and you got your joy robbers. The choice is yours, whichever one. You I want the peacemakers, life. not the joy robbers. Okay. No joy robbers, auntie. No joy robbers. Mm -hmm. Tell them what a joy robber is. A person that comes to you with negativity all the time, and sometimes they gaslight it to make it seem like it's your idea. They just bring that negative out. Or when they come through your house, you automatically get depressed because you already know what they finna bring, something negative. But you can't get mad because you opened that door. You could have left them on the other side of that door, but you didn't. Brady Brady says that's right, sis. The demon wants it all, but he can't have nothing. Amen. He Hallelujah. Can't, he can't have nothing you don't give him. Katoya says, speak it. And that's the truth. And I and, and you know, I'm getting ready to turn 52. Um and I I, I I was in a space where it was just, oh, beautiful. Y'all don't even understand. And I gotta get back right there because I meditated every day. I prayed every day. Um, I had great expectations every day. Um, Ms. J said, fool me once, you're going to fool me twice. Hallelujah. Say that one more time because when a person show you who they really are, they showed you. They're going to show you over and over again. They're going to show you. Take us to church, queen. Diamond. Amen. Amen. They're they going to show you over and over again. It's your fault if you continue to keep letting them do and knowing them what you what you finna get. That's just like if you in an abusive relationship. And and then that man tell you, oh, I ain't gonna hit you no more. That woman tell you, I ain't gonna cheat on you no more, or whatever it was the case. And they turn around. They might not do it right off. They might not do it next week. It might be a month. What's in them and what they really truly meant and felt, you going they gonna do it again. You see what I'm saying? Sending love from Australia, Auntie and Sister Diamond. Thank you, Brady. We got Australia in the house dealing with fools. That's what you get. Amen, Miss J. Masha said, yes, Lord. It's the truth. It, it, it is the truth. And, I, and I, I work so hard to get to where I am in that peaceful state because I went through a lot of things. And I don't have time to entertain it. You remember that analogy about the snake? When uh, the, this old man, he seen the snake outside. The snake was frozen. Mm -hmm. And so he brought the snake in the house. Snake was starving. He fed it. He sit in front of the fireplace with the snake wrapped and got him back to normal. And uh, as soon as he got the snake back to normal, the snake bit him and he spit venom in him. So the man was, as he was dying, he looked at the snake and he said, "Mr. Snake, why you do me like this? I, I, um, I brought you in. I wrapped you. I nursed you back to health. I got you warm." That snake looked up at him and said. Yeah, but you know I was a snake before you bit, before I bit you. Okay, and you know what? As you was talking, God gave me another um analogy of that. Oh. A snake is a snake, and even just because it sheds its skin, because we all we already know that snakes do shed their skin. Just because they shed their skin doesn't mean it's not that same snake. You remember the other day when we was talking? I said just because <laughs> you paint an apple orange. It does not change that fruit. It changed the clothes it had on. It changed that color. Just because it's orange now don't mean that ain't no apple. It's just another color. Mm -hmm. It's just another color. Yeah. 
And that's how the enemy same come man. in different shapes, forms, and fashions. Sometimes it comes the with tears, thing. for you can hear their sad story. Oh, sis, I need a shoulder to cry on. All the while, I got this knife in your back. I know damn well you needed some sleep. I know damn well you needed the, uh, a, a meal. I come in the door with some with some tears. Because I don't want you to get no sleep so you can be better than me tomorrow. So I'm going to keep you up all goddamn night with this bullshit that I done made up. Mm-hmm. You know, so you, you got to watch the people you call friend or, or loved ones. They the main ones because you done told them everything. So they the main ones that, uh, that'll stab you in the back because you've given them the tools to do it. They know everything about you. Some things you need to keep to yourself. You don't need to tell, I don't care how close you is to the priest. There's certain things he don't need to know. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. A lot of things should be remain between you and God. Yeah. Personal. And at this time, your peace is everything. Well, you can make Satan your 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 uh your God if you want to, Mm-mm. but always know what's coming with it. What's you coming get the with whole it? package. You done bought the whole package. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's the price to pay for uh-huh. it all, you know. And when you accept that accountability, then you start to realize, hey, let me do something a little, a little bit different because this ain't what it is. And you know, it's it, this, my peaceful state is everything to me. And fifty two has a lot of meaning for me. And when I tell you, did you say fifty two? Mm-hmm. That's how old I'm finna be. I, no, I actually had that number all day and all day yesterday. Really? Did you want to? number 52. Oh, wow. Yeah. It used to be my number on this, this jersey. Mm. Oh, I was on the Pom Pom Squad. Auntie, on the Pom Pom Squad. Mm. Mm. So, yes, I'm, I'm getting back she to the state I was in and even that better. devil over there in the corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, your solitude being by yourself, silence... Um, some, cause you need that time alone. You need that time to reflect. You need that time to analyze. You need, you need a time to get into you, to figure out who you are, what your needs are, what you want to do. What's the next step? Mm-hmm. And a lot and of you times. Have, and it requires, and you know, sometimes, no, ain't no sometimes, there's a lot of times. Elevation requires separation. And that's true. Because when God get ready to elevate you, he going to separate you from a whole lot of things. And what's not meant to be in your life won't be in your and, life. And, and God also gives you the desires of your heart. If you choose to be with that person so much that you can't see God, God will turn you over to your... Uh, reprobated mind. Yeah, yeah, reprobated mind. God will turn you over to your desire. And that's because he loved you so much, he giving you what you asked for. That's what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He can be drugs or whatever. It could be anything, uh, a mate. That's why you know a lot of a lot of times you, your friends having these get-togethers and it's because you're invited. Don't mean, don't mean you, you gotta need go. To go. Come on now. Okay, you don't need to go and be all right with being by yourself. What's wrong with you? Be all right with being uninvited too. Uh-huh. Be all right with being just with your own self. You'll be surprised how good you can make yourself feel. I ain't talking about your little freaks out there. But you know what I'm talking about. You'll be surprised how wonderful of a person you really are. But you'll never know it because you keep yourself surrounded so you won't be lonely. It's all right to be by yourself sometime. It's all right not to answer the phone. It's all right not to answer the door. It's all right to get in the bed by yourself. Mm-hmm. It is all right to be you. That's right. Well, we have truly enjoyed each and every one of you all on tonight. And that concludes our beautiful session. We'll see you again later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. You got a hair crystal up